Hypoxia means a lowering of atmospheric oxygen concentration. I'm studying hypoxia in fruit flies because they're a very easy organism to work with in the lab. They have a very short life cycle and they reproduce quickly. And so they're very easy to maintain. I went on the ASU website looking for undergraduate research opportunities and I came across the solar program. And on their webpage, they offer a site where you can look up professors who are looking for undergraduates. And John Harrison was looking for a helper. so. I contacted him, he brought me in for an interview, and shortly thereafter I was working in his lab. When I first started, I was basically the, uh, the lab fly food maker extraordinaire. I, uh, I would make the fly food for the flies, I basically maintained the fly stocks, kept them up and running and alive and healthy, and I also helped out other people on their projects. After I worked in the lab for a little bit, I started getting my own projects. The first thing I did was to look at specific stages during a fly's development where the body size reduction response is taking place. It's been known for a while that low oxygen concentrations decrease body size in a lot of organisms, including humans, but no one's really looked at the mechanism by which this is taking place. So the one thing I was interested in was trying to really get at this uh, underlying mechanism, whether it be a genetic pathway or a physiological response. After that, I started looking at cell size in the lab. I would chop off all the little fly wings and look at them under compound microscopes and use a trichrome density count to measure cell size. I also have been helping out on a project working with cockroaches with Dr. John Vandenbrooks. Um, we're looking at the internal trachea of different species of cockroaches utilizing x-ray synchrotron images. I've learned from my research that during the development of a fruit fly there are two basic phases where the hypoxia effect seems to be taking place. Um, first, they seem to have a severe body reduction if they're exposed to hypoxia during the late larval phase, and second, during the early pupil phase. I think research is important for two reasons. First, there's so many questions that we can ask about the world around us, and second, because there's a lot of things that if we knew more about, we could apply that to creating solutions for problems we have as humans.